is, but it's going up. The keys seem to push back to you, sort of. Um, they're very resilient, I guess would be the right word for it, which might allow for a faster reaction time or just more button presses or something like that, but they, they're definitely not lazy coming back up. They will definitely come back. I love it. I love how small it is. I love how I can hit things a bit easier without being comically small and wondering, like, oh man, why do I keep hitting nine? This keyboard's really good for StarCraft. I play it on two. I don't play a whole lot of one anymore. And I, I love it. I absolutely love it. it. If you're interested in it, I would say pick one up quickly while StarCraft Mecca still has one. Because chan I don't know when they're going to be restocking. Chances are they, they may not. I don't know. But get a hold of one since they are so, so, so rare. Or at least for us non-Koreans. Uh, I think it was definitely worth it. I may want to buy another one because I like this so much and I don't want to be caught off guard if they happen to go to production or something like that. There's also Razer's new line of StarCraft gear coming up. I'm probably just going to... I'm going to buy old stuff instead of new stuff. I'm going to try and get a hold of a Logitech Mini Optical and maybe a G1. Mini Optical is not that hard to find. There's some on Amazon. But I'm in Canada, so I can't get them to send it to me, unfortunately. I'd love to have one of those. And the G1, I see a Korean seller on eBay, but I don't know if I trust that. So I would also like to get a hold of one of those. If anybody can help me get a hold of either of those, or both of those, or just wants to send me one, I'll totally review it. Um, I've been playing the keyboard here for about three days now, so I didn't just, you know, buy it, play it for like an hour, and be like, oh, this is the most amazing thing ever. It has been pretty solid. The only change you'll feel from your other keyboard is that typing may be a little bit different, considering it's a bit more compact, a bit smaller, but, you know, with your whole 1A2, A3A, and controls and alt, it's not, not that hard, it's not a huge change. Overall, I love this thing, I think it's a really, really good keyboard. I will definitely look into getting another one, definitely, probably. Anyway guys, if you have any questions, message me, comment, anything like that, and I'll definitely go over it. There's just not a whole lot with this keyboard I can go over. It's, it's fairly simple. It's just your standard office keyboard that happens to have an amazing feel to it that the pros seem to love. So if you think this has been helpful and you, you like it, go pick one up. They're worth it. They're worth the money. They're not even that much, like 50 bucks. And the new, all the new stuff's like 150. It's all fancy and glows and it's expensive. But you're just paying for a whole bunch of gimmicks, like the new Spectre stuff, where you know if you're Silver League and you want to know your APM, you pick that shit up and it'll glow blue or red or I don't know. It doesn't matter, but I don't really want one of those. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoy. Any questions, just let me know. I may do another one. Hopefully I didn't miss too much here. But uh, Castle signing out.